Hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing? I'm uh, just going to get into this real quick because it's uh, going to be an unboxing video and not just an unboxing video. It's going to be a double unboxing video because I got two things to unbox today. This first first one, well, one of them, sorry, is uh, Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood, uh, Jason figure. And the other one is Dracula masterpiece ornament. They actually had two versions of this. They had this one, which is kind of like in the classic black and white, and sorry, everything's backwards again, but eh, it doesn't matter. And uh, the other one was colorized. I like this one better though. But anyway, that's the back there with all the specs on it and about this, but uh, I'm going to open up this one first and see what goes on inside this box. Hi, Lenny. Let's hand top. You dare you? Oh, it's it's like got part of the. I think it's like from the sort of looking like the Dracula original poster. But uh, let's see. Let's see. Slides in pretty pretty easy. Here's my receipt. I should hang on to that just in case. Let's open it up. Pieces of styrofoam everywhere. Flip that open. That's what it looks like in the packaging. That looks pretty cool, I think. It's got a base. It's actually a pretty solid base. But that's the base there. Pretty cool. Have a drink. And what else we got in here? Let's see what this is. Oh, I see. It's a because it's actually an ornament. It's got a string <clears throat> that I guess you loop through the top of it, so you can hang it. <clears throat> oh, it's actually. It's actually got quite a bit of weight to it. I thought it was going to be like just some light plastic. <clears throat> but uh, almost looks like a Bella Lugosi Batman ornament <laughs> combo. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. I, I like that. But yeah, I'm surprised at how heavy this is. I thought it was going to be just some like cheap plastic thing, but it's. It almost feels ceramic. You can see how you could hang it, I guess, from, from the top. There. Is there someone behind me? Yes, there is. Hi, Lemmy. How's Lemmy? And I guess he just kind of sits right on there. It's a little bit, I'll have to be careful. But it's just kind of sits like that. So that's pretty cool. Hi, Lemons. You want to say hi? Up and say hi. Oh. How are you? Hmm? Okay, push back down. There you go. All right, so all this together. And what is it? Let's see, is what it says it's made out of. Ready to hang on your Halloween or holiday tree or anywhere in your home. Packaged with a monument style base for displaying all year round. Magnets help secure the count to his base. Oh yeah, and I can feel it. I can totally feel the magnets in there. But uh, I'm just gonna put this out of the way. So give me one sec. Okay, so I just pop that up just out of the way on the shelf so cat doesn't you know, she or the other guy decides to pop up on the shoulder, doesn't on the shoulder. What am I saying? Pop up on the table, they don't knock it over. So anyway, this is Friday the 13th, part seven, the new blood. Uh, Jason, there's the back of the box, figure in different poses. 
and and there he is on the inside. All right, so Velcro sticker off there. All right, open it up. You can see that this has been opened up quite a bit in the store because it's all worn out in the spine area there or on the fold which is fine it'll just make it easier for me to open later so trying to get the whole series of uh NECA um they're stand freestanding Jasons so I got three of them now I don't know if one for uh, the first one exists because technically it's not Jason who's uh doing the killing it's Pamela but Maybe they have a Pamela figure with a Jason included because there wouldn't be a lot of detail with the Pamela one, I don't imagine. But, uh, let's get this out of the packaging. Maybe. There we go. That's the background. So usually they got like a background thing going on. Oh, it's uh, I can't remember the girl character is rival in the film, but. I think that's just the dock. If you're familiar with the movie, but I probably won't keep that. I don't read this. Not that interesting. But uh, let's check out the figure. This is super well detailed, as expected from NECA. So there he is. The alter an alternate, al alternate head, and a lot of the tools he used for killing. Alternate hands, some of his weapons. So I'm going to get him out of the box first. If I can get through these elastics here. Try it this way. Maybe. Maybe. Holy crap. This is, he's in there tight. Try the arm ones first. Wow, he's really in there. <laughs> there, I got a couple of them cut. Let's see. Holy crap. one okay that should hopefully do it uh, this is like a weird package should just slide out Slowly. There he goes. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is a really well made one. Look at all the detail and like the jackets. Actually, kind of like a jacket. Uh, you can see all the detail inside underneath the jacket. Oops. Get that open. All the ribs and the bones. Really well made figure. Got the chain that he was you know if you're familiar with the movie the chain that was holding him underwater bones in the back that's an incredibly well-made figure i have to say this is probably one of the probably the best jason figure i've seen so far in terms of this size even the detail in the hand focus focus All the tatters in the in the pants from being underwater and rotting. Really well done figure. 
Now, time for the unmasking. Yeah, there you go. Totally looks like that that uh, that Jason in the movie. Really well done figure. Really, really happy with this. It's got the usual articulation in the feet and the knees and the legs. Look at it, like the shin bones even. The bones in the, in this hand. Wow, so much work went went into the making this. I can see. Wow, that's amazing. I hope he stands good. <clears throat> I'll figure it out. Not standing too great at the moment, but uh, I can always make a base for them like I've done with a lot of my figures. Put the mask back on so I don't lose it. Let's pop up the alternate head. That's the alternate head. It's all the NECA figures always have. You can always swap the heads. Now with this camera, I put it too close, it doesn't want to focus. There. I won't bother showing the alternate hands. They're not really that interesting. It's got uh, even even like the, the little saw thing here that he uses at one point in the film spins. But again, problem with the NECA toys is that the all these little prop things are usually really really breakable, fragile compared to the actual figure. But uh, anyway, I didn't want to make this too long a video, which I didn't. We're only at 12 minutes, so that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, Jason, Friday the 13th, Part 7. As we are getting into the Kane Hodder era, I think this is the this is 7, so this is the second Kane Hodder Jason in the series. But yeah, it looks really good. That's pretty awesome. So uh, if you watch this whole thing, thank you so much. If you want to hit that subscribe button, thank you so much. I would really like that. And if you want to hit like, I would like that as well. Uh, you'd be doing me a big favor. And uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, check out some of my other videos because I do have a couple other unboxing videos of other Jason figures if you're interested. And uh, I guess that's about it for this one. Uh, so until the next one, bye.